Okay, welcome everybody back to Anger, Sadness, and Envy, the Rampancy Podcast. I'm Narcogen from Bungie Fansite, Rampancy.net. And I'm Blackstar, Blackstar Productions, and here we are for the next level of Marathon 2 Durandal. Which is Nugent Pave. Mm-hmm, and we have this guy facing the wrong way. I want to shoot him in the ass, but I know the moment I do, he's going to turn around and come at us. Or you, in fact. Now, the probes seem to be playing nice. They're well, going after them instead of us, there's gonna so be let's a, not shoot the probes. There's going to be a mix here. There's, ah! I couldn't get away from that guy. There's going to be a mix. Oh, Some of the probes, guns. if you uh, look over them, they'll be listed as possessed drones, and they'll be fighting for us. They've been hacked by the virus that Durandal gave us to install in the uh, computer net in the last episode. And then there will be some regular ones that we'll have to fight. And a good thing, too. And there are going to be some more cyborgs around here, so we're going to have to be careful. Hmm. Yeah, that drone was not <laughs> friendly. That was a bad one. Bad drone. How? Yeah, you want to see if you can pop him in the lava. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Knock him. There we go. Oh, I got one. I like, pop him in the lava. Yay. Oh, that's a little too far there. Oh. Now, now this level hmm. is basically search and destroy and run around. There's only, apparently, one terminal here, and it's the exit terminal. And only one secret to be found. Mm, this panel's humming. Which mm. is uh, an item. There's a couple of items. There's. Oh, better watch out. There's a. Uh... Oh. There's a duke patrol. I want to block you on the hallway again. Is how much fun we had last time? Yeah, exactly. Who's behind door number two? Um, two of these doors just go around the same corridor. I think this is the this is the one that doesn't. Look out. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh! Ah! Those ah! four troopers oh, yeah. are not, uh, not fooling no. around. No, they are not. And unfortunately, when you run out of ammo, that's usually bad. And this level is not really that bad at all, but I would say that the, uh, the composition... We're just out of practice. Yeah, we're, we're out of bed. And I am actually <laughs> playing this now with a, an Xbox controller, just just for the heck of it. You uber hack. Finished up that room we got killed in. Oh, finally, man. I am so in need of a recharge. Okay, and there is a recharge here, and it is oh, a where? it's a double. Here, I'll uh gonna need it. Going to need see it. See if I can set a set point here. Please do. No, I'll I, just follow you. No, I it, can't. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll just follow you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lot of humming panels in here. There we are. Ah, I feel refreshed. Yeah, okay. It works from the keyboard, but I guess the uh, configuration I've got for this controller right now doesn't include the uh, set a point. Hmm, impeccable timing. It's it's a work in progress. <laughs> It's basically this little wireless adapter for the Xbox controller, and then a uh, a free control panel that comes with a kernel extension that I keep going around our circle here. I'm back at the recharge. <laughs> you uber hacksaw is you. Okay, so we have to go up those led. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back. Cause we've basically done everything we can in this area. We have to go back, probably, to that first one and go down the other corridor. That first one we went down. This one. And there's gonna be gonna be some more ledges like this, some more guys, and there's a ledge we can jump down to over there, but we're gonna have to jump in the lava to get there, so let's let's hmm. not do that just yet. No, let's not say we didn't. Watch out for grenades. You behind me, or there's another door? No, there's another door over here, but yeah, unfortunately that one won't open. No, I wanted to go back to the beginning and see if there's anything we potentially could have missed because there is a lift up through the lava over here. I just wonder if there's any other secrets or any other potentials. I don't think so. And uh, I'm looking down in the big arena area. There's one cyborg down there. Loving grenades at me. I don't think he can hit me from here. I don't think he can get the elevation. Oh, we hope not. Oh, 
Yeah, it's an ammunition beam down when I jump down here. Oh, good. It's okay, getting no. this is not one of those levels where getting around is hard. Usually there's oh. usually there's lots of ways to get anywhere you want to go. I think I just kicked over the hornet's nest. Yeah, I can see a bunch of drones, a bunch of fighters. I'm gonna let them play it out, see how that goes. Or if anything, take out the fighters if you if the troopers if we have a chance, because the drones are the drones are pretty easy. I'm trying to pop them off the ledges. Yeah, it worked. Bye bye. Oh, this probe doesn't like me. Yeah, I think you can tell them apart by color. I'm just not sure which is which. It looked to me like the green <laughs> guys were bad and the purple guys were good. Not really sure. We'll have to take notes. Oh, and here's, okay. a, and here's a lift. Now there's a chasm. Oh, there's a chasm over here. I just don't know if I can get across it because I don't know if we both want to drop down this early. Eh, don't worry about it, really. Like I said, navigation at this level is not oh, really a problem. No, I didn't. Nope. Oh, yeah, oh, level is... Okay, you don't want to cross in front of me, though. No. Oh, left. So what I have found with the controller is that uh, if you get the settings right, it seems to be easier to, to run. Like, the, the transition from walk to run seems to be somehow, I don't know, a little bit smoother than, than doing it with the keyboard. Um, because it just kind of it just kind of happens if you push the stick all the way. Okay. And well, here, yeah, you have more tactile response to it than. Here are some chargers, and he, I, I think this is the one that's funny. Yeah, in that there's a yellow one, and then a charger that looks like a red one. It looks like it's a one time, but it's actually a triple. Ooh, so this I is found a, a skull. So this is a purple shield recharger, and I'll mark it for you here. Hmm. Now this skull, of course, isn't quite representative of some other games we may have played, so. I don't think that's going to help. Now the, now the marking doesn't work even from the keyboard. Hmm, probably not. Hmm. And there's also some other bones. Lots of explosions in the distance. Ugh. Okay, and there's also, there's also a raised platform here that has an invulnerability uh, and Ooh. an invisibility on it. And this is the Ooh. only secret, basically. Uh, we're going to go somewhere else to this level and click a switch that is going to bring that... Uh, it's either going to bring a, one platform up so that we can get on it or bring this one down. I forget which. One mm -hmm. of those two things. And uh, basically here in the center Ooh, is going to be a place where we're going to have to jump down into a shaft. And that's how we continue on with the rest of the level. And it is right over there. And what do I want? So I have to go down? Yeah, we have to go down. And it looks like all I've got is an AR and two pistols. I regret nothing. Yeah, you will. Okay. okay. Ooh, more lava. Oh, nasties. <laughs> and they're above on the right. And they've got a really good angle on us. <laughs> oh, I think I got them. See if I can get across this. Oof. Oh, that looks barely far enough. Yeah. Okay, then up some windy stairs. And I'm hearing machinery. Door opens, and whoo! Three doors. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. Oh, door number one doesn't empty. Now, I guess that qualifies as a monster closet, because if there's nothing else in here, there's nothing this guy could have been doing. He was probably eating this guy. Okay, and now we're on we're on an upper ledge across from another another one of these arena-like areas. Oh, more troopers up on the top ledge. Back up, back up. Hold on, I'm gonna get through the door again. Yeah, this is kind of a bad spot. Yeah, I'm inches away from death here. Oh, okay, no, I'm not. I mean, I've I've lost some off the top of my triple charge, but uh, I'm good. And now now we're at the level where we the ledge we would have jumped down if we uh, tried to jump across the lava when we first entered that that area. Okay, drones. Oh. 
I see some uh, cyborgs. Yeah, play for a second. Can't say that my favorite. I don't have much of a retreat down here. Down here a little shelf. Everything's dead. Don't worry about it. Oh, good. Well, I'm, okay, I'm your dead. Some so shotgun I ammo. Jump in. Some uh, fusion ammo. And it looks like there's a switch oh, to shoot up switch. here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think you got it. I'm not sure what it did though. Uh, oh, I'm, well, I saw a wall behind. Yeah, me. it opened yeah. up. Yeah, it opens this up. I hope that's not the trash compactor. No, this is the end of the level, actually. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, but we, can, we don't want to do this yet. We want to at least go back and show the secret. And now, the, th the trick about the secret is this, is that the, the two power-ups that are on that thing cannot be used together. Uh, one will override the other. So whichever Ooh. one you get last overrides ah! the one you get first. But since there's two of us, we could get both of them. Theoretically. Yeah, theoretically. Uh, and there's there's another door we haven't explored here, too. Well, I'm going to have to come back because the cyborg was around the corner near the end, and I died. Okay, I think I've thrown the switch for the secret. I'm not sure. And I've gone through a door that's brought me back to the beginning. I'm not going to fall into the lava because that, Please would, don't. that would be dumb. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, okay, so I'm walking around the way we came in. Heading to the secret. I think I flipped the switch that makes that accessible now. So now I'm gonna go take a look. Uh, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the invulnerability, and I don't think it's come down. No, I think there. I think what the switch should have done would have been to activate a lift that should move uh, up and down so you can get to it. I don't think it comes oh. down. I think there's a list. The, the list next to it that goes up. I'm looking around. I don't really see it. Yeah, I'm above you. I thought maybe it might have been this highlighted red platform, but it doesn't appear to move. Um, that's what it should be, I think. Hmm. Maybe it's another switch. Possibly. We also still are missing some stuff because it says there's 11 enemies. So we've missed mm. out something somewhere. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> and it won't be the last time. All right, well, let's head back down and keep going. There must be a door we missed. Ow. Slightly fried. No. Can we go through this door? Oh, uh, I did. Hmm. Okay, no, that's... Okay, that's a switch that breaks something. Maybe that's the panel we have, maybe that's what we have to do? Possibly. Ah, go ahead, break it. Ow. Oh, that didn't hurt you, did it? Yes, it did. Really? It's on the highlight reel. Oh, that's what does it. That's weird. Oh, okay. says there's some more stuff I haven't explored through through here. There must be another exit we didn't use? Well, it's yeah, possible. So this is the one that it yeah, went through so last time. we can time. go this way. And there's a save terminal. But I don't see anything else. Is there a secret door? Uh, doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Yeah, because that's the door on the lift we went through last time that brings it to the end. Oh, what about this door? Is that the one we came in? Whoa! Uh, there should be something on the left here. Ah, okay, yes. Yep, they, stairs. Yep, yep, yep. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Uh, troopers. That actually felt really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome.
I'm nearly dead now. Yeah, he's down. I got full health, so I'll take point. The, the firing seems Ugh. to be working out okay. The dodging is still uh, not so not so hot. Okay, I picked up lots of bones. Batteries. It's all this way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear you. More hot tub action. Oh, oh. trooper, back out. The door over here. Thank you, and I'm in the low. Oh no, I was. Damn. Also, the little area there that's full of ammo. Hmm. Is that um, a teaser, you think? No, I think you can grenade. Yeah, see for me here. See where I am here? I, yeah. I, I mean, I can't do it because I won't survive. But if you have grenades, you can grenade jump this. I'm sure. Oh, and there's a recharge. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Here's a recharge. I'm going to recharge and I'll do the jump. Do, do, do. How do I... That's the same recharge we had before. Yeah, how do I get back up? So, well, I'd set a spawn point over there, so if you want to just use that. Oh, did you? Yep. And there's also a ledge above one of these little alcoves. I think we should be able to get up through that as well. Yeah, see if you go up over here, there's a little ledge you can see above you. Oh, uh, yeah. That seems a bit so, high, but I think it goes the same way. It place. does. Well, I tell you, let me, let me try the low one first. Okay. Yep, made it. Sweet. I'll send me a point. Oh, I love that okay, feature. Okay, so. Ammunition. Yep. Lots of bones. And there's a and, and there's, and there's another time. jump here. Yep. Here's it. That doesn't seem to. Anything go up there? No, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm just looking <laughs> down over that higher jump. So. But yeah. There was, but there was nothing there. There was no reason to do it. Right. Well, see, that's what I had a feeling. It was just going to loop around, and it's just part of architecture. It's nothing dramatic or necessary. Okay. According to the best write-up I have, the mm -hmm. the access to that panel is supposed to be supplied by breaking a panel, uh, which we just did. <laughs> well, we broke a panel. We don't know if it's yes, the panel. But I think it's the only breakable panel in the level. I don't think there is another one. Hmm. So I'm going to head around back there. Because I think what well, we looked after we threw a switch, but we didn't look after we broke the panel. Maybe? Hmm. I'm in the bone room, so... Uh, yes. Okay, I can hear it now. There's a platform that's moving automatically. Okay. Yes, I think there is. I thought I heard something some. moving. Yes, it is. That center platform we were talking about is, in fact, moving up and down now automatically. Uh, I just missed jumping on it, but it's no big deal. I go around again. Okay, so I think I think the, the trick to shoot for here would be to get us both over here and so that we can each get one power-up so that nothing goes to waste. N not that we need it to finish a level that has only three enemies remaining in it, but hey, what the heck. Okay, so uh, try to get back here and. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to jump across and get one power up, and then you will get the other one. I will try not to touch them both. That's the okay. that's the trick here, I think. 
Good luck. And go! Ah! Oh, you got it. Alright, oh well. Alright, so let's just go finish the level now. Yeah, see, in this suspiciously open yep, space with these weird areas, I always expect there to be some kind of an ambush here. There is, actually. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, it ambushed me. If you go around this corner on the right, there was a cyborg, and yes, his friends. So, ask and you shall receive. Go, go, go. And no enemies left. So that's it. Oh, yeah. Anything else down well, there? Th Any those were the last ones. I... I, well, I went down this hallway and unfortunately got ambushed by our buddy. Oh, and that's how you get here. <laughs> this yes. area, we were like, how do we jump up there? That's how you get there. Yep. And this is how you get to the other side yep. of that. Yeah. With the extra bones. But it kind of yep. strange design. I mean, because there's there's no reason for you to fight in those areas. And there's nothing in there to get to. It's just like, you nope. get to the end and if you explore all the way, you're like, oh yeah, those places I could get to, that's how you get to them. But there's no reason to go there. Nope. There's no bonus, there's no extra. Okay, so, Durandal. What fun to watch you work. Bernhard was scared of you. He never dreamed of using you the way I do. Oh, really? What a fool. That was before I could talk back to him. He would have crushed me if he'd known of my growth. I wish that I had made him experience the humiliation that he inflicted on me. And he died before I got the chance. So again, Bernard Strauss, supposedly uh, one of the one of Durandal's creators, if you want to call it that. Um, he sent us on a Durandal sent us on a mission to rescue him in Marathon One. Uh, and of course, here here's the revelation. Not too surprising that uh, Durandal really didn't have his best interests at heart. He really just wanted revenge. And uh, interesting little bit of art here. This seems to show the uh, the cyborg, the security guard, uh, kicking a four fighter against the wall and cracking it. Uh, and incidentally, I think uh, I think this was one of the gamer picks in the XBLA version of Marathon. Two. You get this as your as your player pick on Xbox Live back when they did that instead of the uh, 3D avatars. So there you have it. You can pay. 